What up guys, back with another YouTube vlog here. Starting the day off right, just walking down the street. This looks very nice today. It's a huge box out here for no reason. So let's go see if there's anyone in there. It doesn't look like there's anyone in here. It's, it's a little dark in here. There's there's a red button in here. Let's, let's just click this. Oh, whoa, 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 oh my god. Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? Why do I look so different? Who is that? Yo, what, is what the heck? Doing? Wait, where are what we? What's he doing? My friend, this is, is that Christian Martin Luther? Brown. What are you doing? Is that Martin Luther? Oh. What the heck? Ugh. Did you know Martin Luther was an ideological leader in reforms against oppressing Catholic Church in the 14 and 1500s? Corruption like Pope Leo the tenth selling church positions, indulgences, as well as even selling pendants to excuse from further sins, push him to be the leader of this new religion. He created Lutherism, which was the first Protestant faith, which was built on salvation and faith alone. This faith is even still around today. Additionally, he believed that church was not meant to be a hierarchy, but it was rather a community of believers. <clears throat> this split in the religion and planted seeds that would bring conflict and cause vast splits to the religious landscape of Europe. An example of conflicts related to this issue can be seen in the tension between Britain and Ireland. As a result of these actions came a counter-reformation, which eliminated many abuses of the Catholic Church. When he stated, here I stand, and I can do no other, it is, it is seen here that he believed he was doing his moral duty in taking this action. This type of behavior can be seen in many other powerful leaders throughout history. What the heck, dude? Oh my god! That's crazy! Help! Oh, I gotta get out of here. I have to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm different. Huh? What? Oh my gosh. Who's this? Who's this? That's Napoleon. That's Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte was a young French general who won his place in the throne because of his great military skills. When in power, he made several positive changes such as equality before law, religious tolerance, his tax system, improved agriculture and industry, and prom promotion of education. But his need to conquer all of Europe soon gave him several enemies, who in 1812 decided to invade France and remove Napoleon from power. When Napoleon was exiled and removed from power, people missed the freedom that they had with Napoleon, showing that his leadership was significant and in France and in history. This shows that when leaders bite off more than they can chew, it leads to the worst. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh. Why can't I just go home already? Now, where am I? Is that, is that Bismarck? Quick about Africa and Greenland together, we get harmony. <coughs> bye bye. Bismarck was a great leader because he unified Germany. Bismarck also made huge improvements to Germany, such as introducing a military conscription so that Germany always had an army and would never be defenseless, and introduced a retirement plan so that elderly would be able to manage their life. He also made school mandatory to attend to, which improved the education in Germany. He also introduced socialized medicine so that every working person had health coverage. Best part is that he did all of this without violence except the unification process. Bismarck was a manipulative man and got what he wanted. Bismarck got his power by being an advisor and without Bismarck, there would not be a Germany and possibly we could still have the Roman Empire to this day. And maybe if their military was strong enough to withstand Bismarck, the German unification could have never occurred. Hopefully one day we can unify all the whole world. Yes, sir. Hey, who's that? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta get out of here. I'm back to my normal self. Oh my. God. It's Hitler. I cannot believe they didn't like this thing. Burn that painting. A few more countries and we dominate the world. Yes, sir. When Hitler was in his young adult years, he attempted to get accepted in art school, but unfortunately failed. What could have happened if Hitler was never elected leader of Germany? Germany may have still been a weak country, taking loss after loss in wars. Fortunately, Hitler was elected as president. The, the effect of his election was not lost, was the loss of millions of lives. Major wars, an increase in economy, and increase in territorial gain. An easy solution to have prevented Hitler into going into power if the government were to have more control over oppressing secret meetings. In the end of his reign, he began to collapse due to his lack of military judgment, teaching us leaders of countries do not always know what is best for the country in military terms. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here! Oh my, oh my, I need to get out of here! Oh my god, is it Hitler's wife on the floor? Wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. let me out of here! Stand the button, stand the button! Oh my gosh. Oh, I really hope we're back home. Yo, is, is that Ronald Reagan? There's a garbage truck, it's on the floor. 
What? Oh, oh dear. Ronald Reagan was elected for U.S. president in 1981 during the Cold War. His main goal of his presidency was to end the Cold War by intimidating the Soviet Union with the increase of U.S. military and nuclear weapons. The Soviet Union at the time was basically bankrupt, which, with the modernization of U.S. weapons, forced the USSR to spend money that they did not have. But at the end of his presidency, Reagan began to get closer ties with the USSR. The most significant event Reagan did was his Berlin speech, where he demanded the Berlin Wall to be broken down. Relating Reagan's leadership to history, his main idea was leaders sometimes have to make agreements with other leaders even if these countries weren't on the same page. Yo, dude, what the heck? Oh, God, I got These people are crazy. Click, click the button, click the button. Oh, my gosh. Please, please. It's Gorbachev and Reagan. Good deal. Nice making deal with you, sir. What the heck? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Where am I now? No. Is that Obama? That's Obama. Obama. Hi. Oh, my fellow Hi. Americans. Hi. I love you back. Hello, my fellow Americans. Being a leader, ideological or physical, is not an easy task. As we see leaders past and present, we understand leaders are the ones that lead us to the better or to the worse. Our first step to becoming a leader is to obtain power, being courageous and standing in the face of danger. The way leaders gain power changes in different circumstances and in different times. Leaders. In the past, would usually have to fight for their power or have it handed to them. But as time continues, we see a gradual shift to elections for the people and by the people. But in other situations, more desperate ones, we see evil taking power. Like the election of Hitler. It's not good, not good. Next, the leader must maintain their power. The leaders must take action in the greatest interest of their community. And when failing to do so, they will fall. This has been the case and almost certainly always will be. In other situations, believing a leader is doing their moral duty pushes others to follow them. The last part of being a leader is leaving a legacy. We tend to learn from the leaders the good and we tend to learn what not to do from the evil. Many leaders have pushed changes that are still around today, like those of Martin Luther and many others. Goodbye, my fellow Americans. Beautiful, beautiful, Mr. Obama. I love your back, I love your back. Okay, bye, Mr. Obama. Bye. Bye. I hate this, I hate this so much. Let's go. Oh, I swear to God, if I'm not home, man, I I'm tired of this, man. Wait, I'm, I'm back in the original street. Oh my, okay, you know, I, I need to write, do not enter on this, man. Okay, you know, I, I think I'm just gonna head home. Wait, wait, no, don't go in, don't go in, no. Oh no, no, oh, he's a lost cause.